Hi there again, this is Cricket from Marietta, Temecula, California. So I, um, you guys must all be miserable. Who out there is dealing with some major heat right now? I know out in our area, we don't usually start having heat until about July, but we are breaking records out here. This is super exciting. So it is very hot and I like to have, I like to try some different things for keeping cool. I um, personally try to avoid using the air conditioning as much as possible. Uh, we're pretty conservative on that. So a uh, special thing that we like to try are essential oils. And so peppermint is one of my favorite for that. Peppermint has some amazing therapeutic um, qualities as well. And that's actually something I do. I love to educate people on the therapeutic benefits of essential oils. I do classes. Um, I love to share them. I love for people to just try them and see if they have results. So um, peppermint is my go-to for keeping cool. So when I do that, I actually just use a couple of drops. And there are 250 drops in this larger bottle. So they really go a far, uh, quite a distance. So I rub it on the back of my neck. I rub it on my arms. And then I rub it on in my armpits. So I know that sounds really disgusting, but that's really where I usually heat up. And when you add moisture to the oils, you'll realize that actually you're gonna have a little bit more of an intense feeling. So um, if you're sweating or if you jump in the pool after putting them on, just realize it might be a little bit crazier. But usually most of us can handle it. Um, if you can't, then you can always dilute the oils with fractionated coconut oil. So if any of you are aware of um, coconut oil in general, it solidifies when it's cold. So using fractionated, this is always liquid. So it's a great carrier oil. I use it for my roller balls that I make. Um, hi, Hunter. I use it for my roller balls, and I can use it as a carrier to... Um, make my oils go further like if, if someone has a sunburn I won't use as much lavender I'll only use a couple drops of lavender but I'll use maybe a teaspoon of the carrier oil so anyway if you happen to get peppermint in your eyes which we all do uh, it's it burns <laughs> quite a bit but you're not gonna want to use water to wash that out that'll just make it worse so you're just gonna use a little bit of the fractionated just put a little bit on your fingers and you're just gonna rub it over your eyes like this with your eyes shut of course and that actually is very effective in diluting it and making the pain a little bit less. Uh, so that's one way I use peppermint. Um, I also do a peppermint spray. And if you get on Pinterest, you will find uh, there are tons of recipes on there. So this particular one is a cool down spray. Add 15 drops of peppermint essential oil to a two ounce spray bottle, top with water, and shake before use. Spray on the back of the neck and wrists to help cool down the body. So I have an eight ounce bottle here, so I'd have to do that times four. But do keep in mind that we're all different. Some some of us like it stronger, some of them us like it less, but you really don't need, you only need one or two drops per application normally if you're using the oils. But in something like this that's a little bit more diluted, you might find that you like it stronger or less so. Um, also, we're all different in, in that maybe an oil that works for me might not work for you. And so really using the oils is kind of playtime. So you kind of see what, what options you have. And we have a lot of different research options so you can see what other people use. And um, it's just a journey. It's a journey in learning. So um, the peppermint spray, super awesome. You can use it in the car, softball games, at the park, um, out by the pool. You can put it in a smaller bottle as well and just carry it in your purse if that's more effective for you. But yes, definitely a fun thing to have. Um, how else do I use peppermint? Okay, so you can also take peppermint internally. So I actually put it in my water. Before I work out, I do one drop in about the size of a container. This is a glass water bottle. If you do use the oils internally, you do want to use them in a glass water bottle. Um, the oils are very, very strong and um, if you use it in plastic, they just kind of eat at the petrochemicals, which is kind of what they're supposed to do, is clean, and you'll just end up drinking those, so it's not really a smart idea. Um, you're also only going to want to take oils internally that are CPTG, or Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. A lot of your oils on the market um, actually say on them somewhere, they'll say, do not ingest, and right there, that's a red flag. Uh, what is wrong with ingesting uh, wild orange and lemon and peppermint and lavender? Um, usually what that means is there are synthetic fillers in the oils and you're not going to want to get those into your body. So we're trying to get away from synthetics. 
our body doesn't understand how to process synthetics. So as we're putting all of that on topically in our lotions and our shampoos, we're ingesting a lot of stuff that isn't, of course, natural, uh, and our body's just really confused. So um, try to stay away from oils that aren't CPTG, and I can educate you on that further if, if needs need be. Um, so if you do have an oil that is intended for internal use, you will actually see supplement facts there. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, so I like to make peppermint brownies with this peppermint. And again, of course, in my water. So if you put it in your water, it helps delay fatigue. It help, helps keep you cool internally. And then also for when I work out, which you can tell I worked out, so I'm a mess. <laughs> At least I'm not sweating right now. Uh, I will put frankincense and peppermint on the bottoms of my feet. When you put the oils on the bottoms of your feet, they get into your bloodstream within 30 seconds. So it's very effective and um, very good for helping keep up um, energy and stamina. And what are some other uses for peppermint? So um, nausea, motion sickness, um, head pain, forehead pain that we might have, um, hot flashes. A lot of us as women get to enjoy that wonderful part of life. So uh, for hot flashes, peppermint's very effective, but there are other options as well. Also great for en energy. So a particular combination that I like is wild orange and peppermint. So these are my um, two favorite. Uh, most of your citrus ones are really good for mood. So putting that combination together is helping uplift your mood and help cooling you and invigorating you. Some people use uh, peppermint in the morning to help wake them up. So that's another option too. All right, so what other things do we want to talk about? I don't want to keep going on and on. We just want to make it simple. Um, I also use another product called Deep Blue Rub. This is really big for me for um, pain that I have in my lower back. So I put that on many times during the day, um, but especially at night when I put it on and I will put the peppermint on and the Deep Blue Rub and turn on the fan. And uh, I find that I'm it's very easy to go to sleep. I really do stay cool. And it's sometimes I'm literally freezing. I actually have to have everything on. Uh, all right, I think that's most of it. Okay, so if you, um, I encourage you guys to go out there and get some peppermint oil. And um, I'm happy to help you with that. So feel free to message me. But you guys have a wonderful summer and stay, stay cool. Bye-bye.